welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny Eastwood and in today's case we are covering a story from Brisbane, Australia. Now before we get into it I do want to give you a warning that this one is quite graphic. It's pretty uh, disturbing and there are some graphic details in there about what happens to this victim. So just be aware that um, there is some content that might not be suitable for you, so if you want to skip this one, that is totally fine. I will hopefully see you in another video. Otherwise, if you're new here, every week I post a new true crime story from somewhere in the world. Okay, so it's a big one, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. In the early hours of the 21st of October 1989, Brisbane housewife Elaine Baldock awoke early in the morning to discover that her husband of 25 years hadn't returned home from the night before. 47 year old Edward Baldock, father of five and grandfather to two, worked as a road paver for the local council. Edward had been off work the day before and he'd gone to take part in a competitive darts competition that he actually won at his favourite pub, the Caledonian Club in Kangaroo Point. Elaine was immediately worried when Edward hadn't come home. She knew that he liked to go out drinking with his friends a lot, but he never ever stayed out late and he certainly wouldn't do so without at least giving her a phone call first. So at 5am, Elaine made a phone call to the local police to report her husband as missing. But Edward wouldn't be missing for long. Just 19 minutes after Elaine made the missing persons report, rower Stephen Kieran was out on the Brisbane River. He was the first rower out that morning and as he rowed past the South Brisbane Sailing Club, he noticed something in his peripheral vision. In front of the boathouse, Karen spotted what he thought looked to be a body. He directed the morning joggers away and pulled his boat up onto the bank so he could go and take a closer look. What he discovered was an absolutely horrific scene. He was in a fetal position. Um, he was naked. Uh, he defecated. There was blood all up the wall of the boat shed, his head was back and he was basically cut from 